My name is Adam Porzak with Porzak Golf, taking your game to the next level and beyond. Today we have the opportunity to step inside a lesson with Ryan Bisserat, one of our favorite young players. Incredible golf swing. We're going to go over go-to drills that create width in Ryan's backswing, that load better into his back leg, and as a result, give him a free pass through impact with no manipulation. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please enjoy the video. Tension, I guess? Tension. Yeah. Like you're stretching their upper band back, right? Like this. And then let it go. Because I was miss hitting it. I was hitting, you know, one off the toe, one off the heel. Usually I'm a, I'm a pretty center facing hitter, so it was just weird. The ball was just going different directions. All right, yep. I would just tell you that that's just the, uh, I think it was a little bit of the crisscross setup. Being a little bit, what I mean by that is a little feet left. Being a little bit out of it, and then probably, probably because you have the driver dropping way back. And that could even yeah. really skew the lines more way behind it, right? I think so. I was over uh, from last lesson. Remember, I was aiming right. Mm -hmm. Hips <laughs> you were, were right. aiming left of my feet, but they were square to the target. So did I overcorrect it? No, I think that you. I think that you just opened your feet. Uh, you do everything that you did the same, but you open your feet and then you just drop this back rather than squaring up the feet and just the hip up. Keep it simple, keep it simple. The driver just a little bit of a higher left hip because the high left hip drops the spine angle back. Dude, you gotta really get that feeling in that right leg that we that you had when you had that basket there. Don't let those knees get any closer. That was better. That was pretty good right there. Get that feeling down. Give me a couple of rehearsals to the top where you feel exactly what you felt when you had that basket between your legs. Good turn. Feel like the knees stay out a little bit more as you turn. What was going on with that club yesterday though? What was what direction were you hitting it? I think my hips were just getting way out in front of me. There was a few of them where yeah, I mean, I just they thought you, went like. It's funny you say it because I just thought you could have kept your back to the target a little better in these last couple swings. That's, okay, that makes sense. You know? Maybe, just, yeah, my transition was a little quick. It just looked like a transition was a little bit quick and you're trying to get through it, which I, hey, good for you. You should try to get through it, but just, <laughs> but not as quickly with the upper body as you're trying to. Yeah, there's a correct you're just getting out in front of it, okay? That's it. why the ball flight's just not climbing as much as we'd like it to, too. Back to the target, those arms moving. Way better. There it is. Wow. And that one dropped in the slide. That was just so much better right there. Way better at the top of the swing, better in transition as well. Great, great, great thought there for rhythm at the top of the swing. More importantly, sequencing the swing. It's very easy to get in front of it laterally or in front of it rotationally. And then we have to hit the brakes, back up, stand up. That one was just more Everything started going and really you got through together. That's a good swing stop. Weak right. Stop on top. <coughs> oh, dude. Oh, dude. I mean, those were just both cutting through the same stream of air. Yeah. It's all going further too. Way further. Oh. oh my. Not bad, huh? Ready to go play. Woo. You have shot tracer on that one? Ready to go play. Ooh. You have shot tracer on that one? Oh. 
Oh, that's a better miss though, dude. See another one. And you hit that good too. Hit the one pretty decent. Go after this one, but keep your back to the target. Go after it. I think that's your thought, Ryan. Every time you've had that thought, or at least every time I've sent it to you right before you hit it, the ball flight couldn't be any better. And the swing really couldn't either. I mean, it was just so much cleaner through impact. and They looked really free. Everything was just out in front of you and together. You just don't want to ever see those hands drop back behind the center of the body. I'm going to keep them right in front. And sometimes for us with those longer clubs, it just feels like we have to keep the back to the target to get the arms down in front of us to be able to sequence that move through the ball. Piped right there. Ooh, clipping our trees, dude. I didn't even see it. Yeah, it just took a big branch down. <laughs> All right, let's um, want to want to finish up with some wedges. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta do that. Proximity needs to be slightly better with the wedges. I know I'm doing something really small wrong that is just gonna change it. What wedge you want to see? Let's see a 56. We hope you guys enjoyed the session with Ryan today. There are a lot of go-to drills that were really important to Ryan's success that are gonna be important to your guys as well. So if there's any questions on those go-to drills and how to use them and how to apply them and if they're relevant to you, please write that question below. We'd be more than happy to get back to you. Click the link in our description and pick up your free video course. Thank you guys so much.